and uh, they can play the point. Uh, Kendall came in and they, uh, uh, we'll do a good job and tie it and shift over there and play a little bit. Uh, we got Casey back, who, who did a nice job for us. Uh, he had a number of positions last year. We kind of used him as a utility infielder. We kind of moved him around everywhere. And, uh, and then Dylan Ennis can play with him. So, you know, we've got plenty of guys that uh, can handle the ball for us and, and, and play for a position. How do you replace Jordan for the time being that he's got defense? Do you have a guy you can put back there? And We're going to have a heck of a time uh, replacing him. Uh, you know, when you go back and look at his 23 minutes of game last year, he was our leading rebounder. Uh, obviously our best shot blocker. So he's going to be hard to replace. Uh, you know, we, we do have some size. The moment's made some progress. Uh, Trevor Manning's come in and, and done a few good things as a freshman. Chris, today is uh, is probably been our, our best rebounder and, and uh, probably our best shot changer. So he has blocked many changes. So those three guys are going to have to work awfully hard and, and try to fill in. A lot of guys that want them, man. Just uh, going to get them is, is uh, you know, pretty tough. You know, uh, Jordan, you know, was fearless, you know, going after balls. And, uh, you know, he got a little foul trouble at times doing it. But, you uh, know, I really thought, and looking back, you know, what a difference he made in a lot of ball games before. Yeah, you have dated the score, but it's kind of wait and see. Yeah, it's wait and see. And he goes again about to see the doctors here next week. And uh, he's been in the pool. You know, one of you know, the big advantages of having those underwater treadmills is we can keep him in a little bit of shape and keep the pressure off that foot. So, um, you know, I don't think he'll be in too bad a shape when he gets back. But uh, we don't want to, we don't want to hurry it. Be a little conservative with it. Has Dylan really taken on a leadership role despite being, you know, his first year playing on the team? Uh, both Dylan's have. You know, we've uh, you know, put the leadership role on a lot of guys. And, you know, both Dylan's have done a good job. Elton Cook stepped up a little bit. Dwayne stepped up a little bit. So, uh, you know, and, and some guys have done it. Casey is a great worker. You know, he's always in the gym. So there's a lot of different ways to lead. Um, Dylan Hennis is probably our most vocal guy, but you know the the work ethic that some of the guys have shown over the summer and, and through the fall has has been uh, noteworthy, and, and I think a lot of people have done a good job of trying to lead. And I think it'll be a group effort. I think we'll have a number of guys step up, which is always a good situation to, for a team to have. You know, we're looking for efficiency. The guy you know, numbers are good. He's making these good decisions. He'll probably have the ball in his hand a little bit more. The role of Fred Jones, what he's added to practice. You know, he's been able to observe practice, and uh, it's great having him around. And, you know, hopefully his his role will grow a little bit as the season progresses. Brady Fouché, I mean, what do you make of the defensive potential for this team this year? You know, I don't know. We, we're not very good defensively right now, so hopefully we'll get better. Um, you know, I'm hoping that uh, all the guys a little more emphasis on their uh, approach defensively. Uh, but, you know, right now it's just it's, it's too early to say. I haven't been too impressed with our defensive uh, effort. Uh, you know, we just we got, got to do a better job. As coaches, we got to put more emphasis on it. Uh, as I mentioned, everybody has a lot of confidence in their offensive ability. We, we need to get a little bit... Uh, more locked in defensively. We need to get some more stops. Uh, I think our increased depth will will help us there. You mentioned improved depth uh, from this team. Do you have an idea of, of how many guys you can play in a typical game versus uh, what what you've done in the past? You know, anybody who can help us will play. Um, anybody who puts consistent effort in practice is going to have some kind of role for us. So. Uh, you know, last year I, we went with kind of an eight-man rotation uh, most of the time and, and added a couple guys here and there. Uh, and I'm not sure what that rotation will be this year. It's too early to tell, but, you know, we have a lot of guys trying to get a, a few minutes, and uh, hopefully that will continue. You know, as long as somebody can help us compete and win games, um, they'll have a place on our team. It seems like 
across the board, does that a lot better? You know, I don't know. Um, Cal really helped himself with two top ten kids. I guess I guess. And Arizona may have lost some players, but they're still awfully talented. Um, Utah's pretty good. UCLA will be good. I hope we're good. Uh, I think Arizona State was picked way too low. I think they're pretty good with four starters back. Uh, Oregon State's got everybody back. Uh, and some new guys. So, you know, I I think it's going to be a good year. You know, um, we had a Last couple of years have been pretty good for our league, uh, with Arizona leading the way. And hopefully some of us uh, will be able to move up the chart a little bit. And, but it should be a really good year for our league. I think uh, the depth of the league is pretty good. I think the talent is pretty good. Some recruiting classes coming in and some recruiting classes for next year look pretty good. So I think uh, our league is definitely uh, definitely getting deeper and, and better. Service playing great. Uh, Kendall's playing well, and so is Tyler. Uh, very high. We just got to keep competing, and we want them to be more vocal. Mm -hmm. We just gonna keep pushing them. Dylan's a guy who's played a lot of basketball. Dylan Ennis. What, what sort of presence has he tried to bring? Um, you know, point guard who kind of gets pegged as the floor general. Can he be that as a new as a new face? Yeah, definitely he can. Uh, Almond does a great job with his transfers, and Dylan, he's polished. Uh, he's been a while for a long time. He's first year here, but he's a vet, and uh, he's very vocal, and we gonna need that. What do you think your game has improved over the off season? What have you been working on? And how's your game improved? Uh, me myself, I just want to be more of a leader. And basketball wise, I'm just working on my shot, dribbling, everything, finishing around the rim, free throws. I just want to be a better player all around. What are the mindsets of you and, and some of the returners from last year, like Dylan Brooks and Dwayne Benjamin? I mean, what are you, what are you guys kind of specifically looking to kind of accomplish this year? Uh, we coming in focused. We coming in compete, push each other to get better, and we just want to be the best we can be. Who do you guys have to adjust defensively until Jordan comes back, not really having that, that rim protector back there? Uh, yeah, Jordan blocked a lot of shots for us. That's going to be big, and we all just need to pick it up. Uh, Chris is down there right now. He's doing a great job. He's grabbing rebounds and blocking shots, but we all need to pick it up as a, as a team. Pretty skinny guy to be down there. Is he holding his yeah, own in, in the middle? He does a great job. he got a lot of rebounds for us so far, so he's doing good. How about just defensively as a whole? What, how do you see this group coming together on the defense? Uh, I think we could be real good defensively when we start focusing on defense. Right now, our main focus is not defense, and that's why we're running so much in practice right now. So. The fact that you guys finished second last year and then media picks you to finish fourth, does that put a chip on the shoulder? You don't even care about uh, any of that. It's a tough lead. The, the, all the teams got better. It's real deep, and it, that really doesn't bother us. We don't pay too much attention to it. What's the adjustment to the shot clock being 30 seconds instead of 35? Uh, yeah. I think that works in our favor. We want to get up and down anyway. And uh, our defense has been good to us. So maybe when the team's crossing the court, it could be 20 seconds on the shot. Uh, make it tougher for them. Do you notice that five second differential off yeah, offensively? It's a real big difference, actually. The shot clock went off on me a few times and I had no idea. So we got to adjust to it. You guys lose Joe Young, but it sounds like the excitement level might, you know, is, 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 is as high as it's been, you know, the last, you know, three, four years. I mean, would you say that's, that's, that's fair to say? Yeah, that's fair to say. Joe did a lot of special things for us, and uh, it's going to take a whole team effort to, to pick up, you know, what he what he's leaving. And that comes with a balance, more balanced approach, right? Definitely. What is the biggest difference aside from Joe Young to this team? What do you guys are going to have to change some things up? Uh, I feel like Auburn teams really never have a problem scoring, so I don't I don't think it'll be a big deal. But I think it's going to be a more balanced effort, and we just need to focus on defense right now. How's the uh, about three weeks midway through fall? Practices and how you think things go? Uh, we um, progressing. We just um, we just really trying to get everything that Alma is trying to install. You know, we got a couple of players who's gonna play a big role in what we gotta do. So we just really trying to get like every detail in. What do you make of those three freshman guards? So obviously, that adds a lot of depth to the point of position. I'm happy. I mean, last year coming in, we had what maybe three, but it was two freshmen again. But I mean, they're learning from Case every day. Case is really uh, showing the way because he knows what. Coach Allman wants, and uh, they're doing a good job of listening to him and just trying to just pick up on the offense and trying to just really like, we just want them really to demand us really. I mean, they look at us as the older guys, but they're the point guard, so we're just looking for them to just pretty much just, you know, just go out there and run the team. Are there guys you think are going to get some solid minutes this year? I believe everybody's going to play a big role. Everyone that's here playing a big role in the team this year. What's the difference for you, year two, after coming in last year? A leader now. I mean, I'm pretty much a vet now. I know a lot of the stuff that Coach Altman wants. So, I mean, he just looks at me just to 
just to let everybody else know that that's pretty much it. Just play a bigger role, in just like mentally wise, with the plays and with practices and with stuff not going right. I just have to be one of the guys who just help it switch over. Seems like you kind of developed your game as the year went on. Your shooting came on a little more this night. Do you feel like you can start kind of where you finished last year? Definitely, that's the plan. I mean, I finished off last year. I think I played pretty well, but um, really just pick it up and just continue whatever the team needs, just try to provide it. Coach said you have really big expectations for yourself this year. Right? What do you mean by that? What do you talk to him about that? Um, I just always put a lot of pressure on myself. I just really want to be great. So like I said, like at the beginning of the year with Jordan not being here, I mean, I want to break a record and block some shots too. So I mean, <laughs> just whatever I, the team's needs me to do. And my role is bigger than last year, just as like I said, like being a mental leader and stuff like that. So just really uh, fulfilling all my roles as a team. You should take that rim protector job that like Jordan's not there for a while? I mean, I don't know if I could do it as good as him, but you can only try. <laughs> you guys are protecting your face forward. What's the excitement level like in the locker room heading into this season? Like, just like last year, we don't really like put a big deal on what other people think. It's just about us. And we think we can be good if we just keep on working and buy in to what uh, Coach Alvin tells us. So, I mean, we're excited to start. I mean, those these guys, just, they haven't played in college yet, yeah. so they're really excited to play. And Dylan's excited. You know, he got another year. So everybody's just really excited to play. Having to leave, I mean, is it hard to be vocal despite, you know, the fact that you, you haven't been here for four years? Um, no, I don't think so. I think, you know, that's my personality. You know, I, I communicate well. You know, I'm a leader, you know, in any situation I'm in. Uh, and I think, you know, me transferring already, you know, in high school and in college already, it, it helps me with the transition. You know, I know there's new guys. I know, you know it's new personalities. But, you know, I'm able to adjust uh, quicker than the regular person. Do you bring an urgency to this team today? I only got one year here to, to get this going. Oh, most definitely. I think, uh, you know, it, it just doesn't have to do with me being here for one year. You know, I have seniors beside me, Elgin and Dwayne, who also have one year. And I want them to go out with a great season. Um, and even the young guys, you know, I always tell them, you know, you have four years of this. You know, I remember when I was walking into Rice for my first day of practice. Um, but, you know, I think it's just day by day. And, you know, you're lucky that the end of the year is going to come faster than they realize. So I just want everybody to have a great year. You see yourself as kind of the point guard. You talk about guards. You can kind of be versatile. What, what do you want to bring to the backcourt? Um, yeah, definitely. No, I, I think uh, I bring my leadership. Uh, I play hard. Um, everybody knows me as the you know the one who's going to go dive on a uh, loose ball. The one who's going to go get a rebound for his team. So you know, I want my leadership. But as well, you know, coach, you know, has me you know scoring, you know, um, you know, passing, you know, doing a little bit of everything. What are you made of the depth and talent of this team, especially from the position? Oh, it's great. Uh, very athletic, you know. At Nova, you know, I think I was the most athletic guy on the team. But you know, you come here, you got three, four guys jumping as high as me. It was a day when I first came, but you know, it's great to have guys who are fast, jump as high. And, um, you know, I think Coach uh, being a great coach, X and O's coach, you know, put everything together and be great this year.